Hello and welcome to Console Training. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going to update an MA3 Lite. We're going to do both MA3 and MA2 mode. So the process starts a bit differently. We don't have to use StickMaker anymore. I've got a USB where I've just downloaded the files and copied them straight across to a FAT32 uh, formatted drive. And we've put that into the console. Now if we turn it on and we start tapping just the F8 key alone when we get this screen... We'll be able to select the drive. Yep, so here we go. Let's zoom in a bit more. So you can see we've got a couple of options. We want to select EFI USB device because the console, the MA3, is now an EFI based BIOS. Super complex, but we don't want to select legacy hard drive or legacy USB. Now, if we press enter, it'll boot up into uh, the installer. And the installer will look very familiar to the MA2 based ones. So this is the second biggest thing that differs with the MA3s. Number one, we don't need to use StickMaker. Number two, currently when we update MA3 mode, we actually get MA2 mode with it. So you're not updating MA2 and MA3 separately. MA2 mode is part of the MA3 update. So we get presented with a couple of options. Number one, we can keep all the shows and data. Number two, we can... Delete shows and data. Number three, we'll do a factory reset, which is what I always prefer to do when I'm taking a console out on a tour or something. I want it to be fresh. I don't want any other versions to be on it. More of an issue with the MA2s than it is with the MA3s, because right now we can only run one version at a time with the MA3s. Uh, then we've also got the handy option of backing up all shows to a USB drive. Personally, I prefer to do this manually, and I've had somewhat some issues doing this depending on the USB drive. Uh, but in this case, all we're going to do is we're going to select update and keep shows and data. And then we're going to press the please key. And then it's going to run through its little uh, installation process. It's going to check all the files, make sure they're valid, and then it's going to install it. And then when it boots up, we're going to get the option of selecting MA2 mode or MA3 mode, just like before, but we'll be running the new version. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful to some of you that are out there with MA3s. ACT Lighting and MA have got their own little guides on this as well. Uh, but, you know, if you prefer to uh, watch a video, uh, even if it is just to look at the way that the little uh, color chase here runs, then hopefully this video has been beneficial to you. Thanks, guys.